Brussels. And joining us now from Lisbon, Portugal, with his analysis of the Eurozone Finance Minister's meeting and the economic situation in the region is Pedro Santos Guerrero. He's the editor-in-chief of the Portuguese financial daily, Jornal de Negocias. Thank you so much for joining us, Pedro. Let's get straight into it. EU finance ministers agreed to a bailout for Cyprus and the next installment of aid for Greece, but they didn't release any more aid to Portugal because they're still waiting for the country's parliament to approve the latest austerity measures. Do you think Lisbon's latest austerity measures will be approved and will they eventually get this aid? Well, they will be approved. The, eventually, the money will, will, will come to Portugal. Uh, there were some political problems on, the, the, on, on these days, but they are solved now. So uh, we don't expect any kind of trouble in Portugal. And so the bailout programs will remain on track, uh, not only in Cyprus and Greece, but also in Portugal. Well, moving on, the European Commission said earlier this month that the Eurozone will shrink by 0.4% by the end of this year. There's still plenty of unrest in the Eurozone from Greece to Spain, with unemployment in both countries at record levels. So do you think the Eurozone leaders need to rethink some of these austerity policies? Well, certainly, everyone thinks not that because the European Union really seems to be stuck on austerity and not moving to growth, to economical growth. And this is true not only in per peripheral countries such as Portugal uh, and, and Spain and Italy, but also in the core countries. Uh, and so the, the, the message now in Portugal, in, in Europe, I'm, I'm sorry, the, cons the political consensus really is changing to uh, rather austerity and more to economical growth. Um, the, the feeling, however, is that we, the tip there's a tipping point, which is the German uh, election after the summer, and everyone really is expecting that to happen so that we can put forward in Europe measures that really regard the economical growth and that can struggle against unemployment. Well, if not austerity, what can these countries do to sort of earn the bailouts from the EU and the IMF? Well, austerity will not end in, in, in Europe for, for a long time. It won't, that won't change. What can change is the pace of austerity. And that, will be, that would be a great news to, 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 to the European countries, which are highly, highly indebted and which do need to reduce their fiscal deficits. But if they have more time to do it, then austerity will be eased up, is, is, isn't, and so the economy may, 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 may grow. Just this week, the European Statistics Office should confirm the sixth uh, quarter of recession in, in, in Europe. And that means one year and a half of recession. And things are not expected to go uh, better, not until the, in the next winter. And so uh, we are all expecting this kind of easing on austerity in some, in some countries, but also a more active role of the European Central Banks, mainly by uh, buying credits from companies, which really means, uh, it, it actually means to lend money directly to companies companies more cheap money more at, at lower rates so that they can invest and so that investors start deploying right. money well, well, into Europe. Well, you're talking about lending and about money and there was some talk about forming a Eurozone banking union. Why has there been lack of progress on this front? What's stalling the issue there? Well, first of all, it's, it really is a complex matter because you have to uh, mingle all these 27 uh, central bank systems. Uh, and this really means that you, you have to change the, the treaties. Uh, the finance minister of Germany, Mr. Schobel, just wrote today an article on Financial Times saying that uh, you have to divide the, the, the union bank um, the banking union in, in, in two separate ways. First of all, you have to, um, to, to put forward the most, I would call it more easy question, easy matters. But you do have to change the treaties in order to, uh, to get this new uh, institution more close to what the Fed is in the, in the United States. So you have political matters uh, mainly um, uh, that are delaying this to happen. It won't happen until 2014 and 2015. Uh, not up to, to, to that will we have 
uh, a central bank more active on, on not only on growth, but, only, but, but also in what regards the stability of the financials in a financial system in the European zone. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for that insight, Pedro Santos okay, de Gurea, editor-in-chief of the Portuguese Financial Daily Journal de Negocias.